Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Zack Writes Code. This is going to be a quick video on how to set up Nginx to gzip files like CSS and JavaScript. Um, not entirely sure why this isn't turned on by default, as you'll see here in a minute, but it's very simple to do. Really quickly, we can see we've got some CSS here on our browser that's being loaded and there is no gzip. Uh, so let's go into our terminal and edit our nginx.conf config file. And if we come down here, we'll see that gzip is turned on. So why isn't it working? a good question. I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't work in the absence of this line right here and or why is this line commented, uh, commented out by default because in this line it basically says here's all the things that Nginx should gzip before sending it to the client and that's things like text slash CSS, uh, JSON, JavaScript, XML, and some others. So Come into your config file, uncomment that line, save the file, run engine x-t just to make sure nothing got messed up, and then restart. Give that just a second. And then we should be able to come over here, and you'll notice the first load, there was 22.6 kilobytes transferred. Um, and then 23.7 kilobytes of resource. But if we refresh now, we'll see that only 11 kilobytes are being transferred. And if we click into our CSS, we can see content encoding gzip. Uh, and also the JavaScript is a content encoded gzip. So now we have gzip enabled for these other files. So leave me a comment if some of you understand why that's not turned on by default in Nginx in 2020. Um, it seems to me in this day and age with all the page bloat and all the JavaScript and front end stuff we're sending to the client that gzip would be default uh, for everything or as much as everything as possible. So yeah, that's this short little video. We'll talk to you guys later.